So today we're going to work on our adding our images and our logo to our Dreamweaver website. The first thing I want us to do is to go into our website folder where we have all of our files located. Go to a white space, right click with your mouse, go to new folder, and I'm going to name that folder images. Once I do that, I can go inside and see that nothing's in there. The first thing I want to save in there will be my logo that I created the other day. So I'm going to go to my, where I saved it, go to logo, right click, cut. I'm going to click back to go back to or straight to my images folder and I'm going to paste it in. Once I've got that in there, I'm going to go to my personal brand slideshow that I made. And there's a couple ways you can add your images to your folder. If you have them saved somewhere, you can just go ahead and, and place them in. If you don't have them saved and they're only on your slideshow, you can make them big or as big as it fits on the slideshow, just so it's like a nice uh, size for the, the website so it doesn't look grainy. Then you can go to snipping tool. You can start typing snipping tool. Hit new. Click and drag, and then once you have it, an image of it, you can go File, Save As. Make sure it's saved inside Images, the website inside your website folder. I'm going to name this one Florence. Save, minimize, and then you can go on to your next one and save them all in your folder. So once I get all of my images saved into that folder, I can go and open up my Indes or, or my Dreamweaver file. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Dreamweaver. I'm going to open up. I'm going to open up over here all four of my HTML files. Don't worry about the CSS yet. We're going to work on that tomorrow. On this left side, I've just wrote a sentence. You can write, this website was made for tech apps if you like. And I've got all of my, my links on the left side. I've got my footer. I've got my information here. So to add the information, we're going to go here. I'm going to hit enter. So there's a space for the image. And I'm going to insert image. I'll find the image I want to put on my, on my page that says when I grow up. I probably will have my family on that page and hit OK. And I'm going to, instead of, uh, where it asks for alternative, alternate text, make sure you write something in there. I'm going to name it family and then click OK. Um, it's kind of big, so I'm going to edit the size a little. And it should let you get on if you click on one of these little squares on the edge. So if it's a little bit big, I'm going to go to modify image and I'm going to crop it so it fits into the space a little bit better. And I'm going to go like that, hit enter, and it should work. So at that point, it looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and format a line and center it. So no matter how big my page is, It'll always be in the center of it. I'm going to go over to Passions, hit Insert Image, insert my STEM picture. And oops, that was in the wrong spot. So if it's in the wrong spot, you just do Control Z and hit, make sure you're putting it where you want it. And you can hit Insert Image STEM. We'll just go through, and again, I'm going to crop that, modify image, crop. Looks good. Looks good. Modify, the format, align, center. We'll go over here to I hope to. I'm going to put Florence in there. Insert image, Florence. And I think this one's going to be a little bit big too. We'll hit OK. Pop that one too. Oh, 
That looks nice. Still a little bit big. We're going to crop that one as well again. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Format, align, center. And then finally, for my last one, I'm going to add my picture of my butterfly. Insert butterfly image butterfly. And again, finally, we're going to format a line center so that we've got all the pictures for the different pages. So now we just need to add our logo, which will be at the top left. To insert the logo, we're going to click up here, go to insert image. I'll find logo, hit OK. I'm going to write what it says, Miss Horvath. Hit OK. <clears throat> it should insert. We're going to go where it says insert logo and hit delete. And to resize, I'm going to click and drag, but if you hold down the shift key, it keeps the correct ratio of the image. I would really suggest holding down the shift key while you do that. Then you can copy, so you can right click on this, copy, go to the next page, paste it in, this page, paste it in, finally the last page and paste it in. And then we're going to be finished with all of our images so far. And I'm going to go ahead and crop this one more time so it looks a little bit better. Modify, image, crop, and we're going to hit enter. So that looks good. So they all look pretty good. They're all fitting within the pages. And the images look nice. And then tomorrow we're going to change all the colors and some of our fonts for our site. And then we will be finished tomorrow.